Oui, Lire, Marcel Lucan, back in Britain, like a dog returning to the last place it marked. My initial thought on returning, who the fuck is stealing all of the British girls' eyebrows? It's the most bizarre theft I've ever seen. And to add to the ignominy of the theft, someone has drawn the crime scene above <laughs> each eye. Usually quite badly. It's nothing that resembles the original thing there at all. If it rains, which it does, wipes away no expression at all. Terrifying zombie woman before you. Wake up next to one of these women, she rolls to her back. Her pillow has an attitude. <laughs> Bizarre. And then that horrific realization that these women are actually doing it to themselves. It's, you know, it's worse in the north as well. Uh, no, 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 no. Newcastle. <laughs> wow. It's an entirely different species. Before to visit the uh, north, they say to me, Marcel, the women of North England, they are more warm than the women of South England. I think they are just inferring this from the orange hue of the skin. Just, <laughs> just because a woman is orange does not mean she is warm to the touch. <laughs> or in any sense of the word. If anything, you try to warm your hand on a northern girl's face, she's instantly... <laughs> angry with you. I think she was angry. She was midway through throwing on the new expression. I <laughs> simply left. Women, with your ever-changing moods, don't make it more difficult for us by, by having to throw it on every time you change it and making us guess. Don't get me wrong. Truly, I enjoy the irony of a nation where eyebrows are frowned upon. <laughs> But, you know, they don't even, they, we are looking at you not for the correct reason, you know, the persons are staring, but not why you think that is occurring, you know. Looks like you fell asleep drunk at a party and some bastard threw them, you know, got rid of them at the party and the next day you just ask the first passing child to throw it on <laughs> using a crayon and a blindfold. It's no good. It's just such a, you know, it's a bizarre thing. This uh, women don't. You know, why this effort? Men will fuck you anyway. I don't know why. <laughs> you need to do this, all this and that. Plastic titties. I don't trust plastic titties. I fear if I'm rubbing my head in between them on a carpet, I will get an electrical shock. <laughs> Unless one of us is wearing rubber boots. <laughs> Usually they are. <laughs> but these are the women always that you see, uh, you know, shouting in the British city at night, always in the town center at night, shouting at their priapic gibbon of a boyfriend who has <laughs> read more hair gel instructions than books and you know, who's, well, whose main drive in life seems to be shouting, run, at a, another human being that is running. It's <laughs> Women of Britain, you know, don't go for this. Be more proud of yourselves. Women of Britain, choose confidence over cosmetics. <laughs> choose personalities over personalized titties. <laughs> A line must be drawn under this, not over it. What, what will occur next, women? You are going to be sketching it on down there. <laughs> we are going to have to do our own kind of smear test before we go down on you just to see if it is real or not. It's no good. Women of Britain, remain broad and proud.